and they don't have any idea where she is. How do you guys know anything? This is a safe place. Talk about it. You want to talk about it? We are talking Autumn Road. This one is written, directed, and stars in not one but two roles, Riley Kusick. Now, what is the plot? I'm not telling you, I'm genuinely asking because this movie, I feel, doesn't really have a plot exactly. It has a collection of scenes that seem to be about some characters, but there's the narrative here. Let me give you a, a brief idea about this, what is I guess the setup of this very strange meandering film that is somewhat of a horror drama in, a, in some small town secret kind of thing. So we have a prologue at the beginning of the movie and we introduce these two brothers, Charlie and Vincent, twin brothers. One seems quite introvert, whilst the other seems a little more uh, extrovert and somewhat has a little bit of a mean streak. And they are friends with this young girl called Winnie. Now, this is set over Halloween, this kind of prologue and we see Willie have a uh, allergic reaction and kind of go into anaphylactic shock when she eats some or gets kind of affected by some trick or treat goodies. Uh, and then we have a it kind of cut and we learn that Willie has gone missing and the brothers are denying all knowledge about what has happened. You know. So then we cut to the uh, 20 or so years later, however long it's meant to be. The brothers now are running this kind of. Um, like a Halloween attraction, a kind of jumping scare maze things that you get in America. And uh, the sister of the young girl that has gone missing, who I, by the way, was not introduced in the prologue, she just is there. Yeah, we have it this introduced in this now adult phase. Uh, she's decided to go back home to visit her mother after the death of one of her friends. And then she kind of gets waylaid talking to these kind of two brothers. Um, these two brothers seem to be personality wise it's quite different Charlie seems to be the somewhat good brother who's the kind of like little bit stern introvert but it's a little bit creepy still it has to, has to be said whilst Vincent seems to be again the more, more overt kind of aggressive one and for some reason assaults people for reasons um, with, a, with an owl mask it's kind of like yeah you just gotta accept it is Winnie going there to find out what happened to her sister? No. She just kind of asks a couple of questions while she's there. Do we kind of learn the reasons why that they've covered this, you know, potentially covered this kind of thing up? What happens? Reasons. Um, anyway, let's, let's talk about what I think works in, in this movie. Okay. I do think there is some fairly well photographed sequences here. Um, one scene, for example, which I thought was very well handled, we have uh, Vincent, the kind of the, the more psychopathic brother. Uh, you know, we know this because he's obviously dressed in black, you see, and the other good ones wear glasses, so you know. Um, yeah, he's kind of like stalking this guy, and he kind of gets in the back of his truck and slashes his tyres, and the guy gets out to kind of look at his tyres. Just in the kind of the reflection of the window, we see kind of. Um, Vincent kind of get out the the car, so I thought that was good showing you where he's going. That actually directly put the camera on it. So there are a couple of kind of like uh, use of kind of framing and camera work here that I thought was quite strong, and had some kind of fairly kind of confident directorial kind of choices here. Uh, and that there are you know, generally speaking, the kind of the camera work is solid and everything like. On a technical level, I would say this movie is proficiently made. Um, you know, everything kind of to do with the sound mix and the editing, all that kind of stuff proficiently made at least um, there is some kernels of some good ideas here um, the you know the kind of the small town secret and that sort of thing the kind of familial relationships that we can we have with another another I do feel that there is some some drama to be mined there but let me just go into it because this movie oh god it was pretty torturous to sit through I'm not gonna lie um, so this is, this is going to be a little bit of a spoilery review, to be honest with you, because there's so many th things that are introduced and then nothing is done with them. In the prologue, you know, 
We don't really know why these brothers didn't help this girl take it, you know, get an adult, try and get her to the hospital. It's never explained why they did. They they kind of. I mean, they didn't directly hurt her. It was an accident. So there's no real reason why they should really cover this up. It was just that she had an allergic reaction, and then kind of, sort of lie about it. And they all they all they absolutely implicate someone else. This kind of guy that they sort of uh, went trick or treating with in a nod in their house. Nothing is done with that again. That's never mentioned again. They kind of implicate this guy who's innocent. Never mentioned it again. Okay, why isn't the, why wasn't the sister introduced in the kind of the prologue? You just tell, you go, Who, who's this girl? You were introduced to her in the kind of the adult section. Who is she? Oh, she's the sister. Oh, right, okay, that wasn't established. You know, okay, fine, all right, whatever. And she's going back to home for, to see her mother, but doesn't actually end up going there. And it's not like she hung out with these two brothers when they were younger. It's established in the film that she barely kind of knows them, but then decides to spend it. it, it it's just like, it just seems like uh, really kind of trite reasons for things, things, things to happen. They're just because this is what the writer director wants to happen. Um, and that's kind of through the movie. It's such a meandering film. I, I, I'm like an hour into this movie thinking, what is this film actually about? It doesn't really seem to have a plot. It's just a collection of scenes about characters and how they're kind of their, their relationships are, but it doesn't really seem to have any real purpose. I don't actually know what any of these kind of characters are wanting. I mean, uh, the, the, the sister is there not to try and find out what has happened to her younger sister years before. She's there to kind of see her mother, and but just doesn't go because she's hanging out with these two brothers. And it doesn't really make any sense. The, the dialogue here as well, it just sounds like it's stuff that was written on a script that looks good on paper, but when you kind of, you know, when you're having kind of actors do the scenes, it just sounds like they're kind of like reading stuff off the page. Um, you know, I feel there's lots of elements here. Uh, it, why Vincent is kind of assaulting people, it's never, I mean, it's kind of like, yeah, they're kind of one people that kind of piss him off, but it's like, What's you know what's pushing him to do that, and you know how comes he's I mean he's wearing the, be the barest minimums of disguises, and there's kind of quite a lot of witnesses and things like this. It's just like I don't know. This movie was just a mess. Um, I don't think the acting was particularly strong. It was just boring, a meandering film that I think is trying to be this kind of like thoughtful. Um, you know, character-driven kind of movie about the kind of the relationships of these people. But I never really felt like we got to know any of the characters. And like I said, it's like, there's like, uh, I, I, I feel this is the direction of a singular person, obviously, uh, Kusik, who is kind of like the writer, director, and kind of like actor for two roles, is stretching himself thin. I mean, there's other, there's other producers on this movie but this needed to be this needed to be way more focused. It's just a meandering mess of a film. The narrative is just completely lost in the kind of like this uh, uh, kind of very just kind of story which is all over the place and kind of just I say meandering. It's just not interesting. We don't really know why people are doing things or why they're not doing things. It's never really explained. Stuff is introduced and then not followed up on. You know, there's kind of. There's no setup in some things, and then stomach will happen. It just it just seems like a, a hodgepodge of ideas thrown together and put up on screen. And I think this was that again. I always kind of say that the producer's job here is to kind of streamline a director, especially director writers' tendencies to kind of want to do their own thing and kind of think, hang on, what, what are people not connected? This movie going to think? And I, you often see this with like you know low budget indie films. It's just like. Inaccessible. This is this film is really inaccessible. I feel. A couple of good ideas. It needed to have more work done on it. I think you could have had a, a, maybe an interesting story. As it stands, it's a boring, meandering mess of a film with with, with some technical elements which I feel were proficient at least. Three out of ten for those reasons alone. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.